Okay guys, so we're moving on to 2.2. So it says, Norm Sa plans to visit Los Angeles for an educational conference. She will be traveling from her hotel to the conference venue with an Uber X. An Uber taxi is operating using uh, using two options as shown below, right? So there's upfront fare and a post-trip fare. So upfront fare is a base fare, um, which is a call-out fee, plus the number of miles times a per mile fare, okay? Then it's post-trip fares, number of minutes times a minute fare, plus number of miles times a mile fare, okay? So two different ways of calculating this cost. So this table two below shows the different Uber taxis and their respective rates in Los Angeles for both upfront and post-trip fare options, including, including an example of a 10-mile trip using the upfront fare. Okay, then, so this is basically what you've done here. It says minimum fare is the lowest fare one could charge, so that's that over there. Okay, so we have here, there's the base fare. So it's basically all the different inputs that we need for these two different types of formula they've given us here for each of these different types of Uber. So you have Uber X, Uber Black, and Uber Lux, okay? And then they've basically done an example for us over here, okay? But we're probably gonna have to calculate B. Again, when you see um, situations like this, right? Or when you see scenarios like this and you might be thinking, oh goodness, like I don't understand what I'm doing. That's okay. You don't have to understand the scenario 100% when you see it. The questions often steer us towards a certain form of understanding. So don't panic. Okay, let's rather just jump into the questions and see what they're asking us to do. So it says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Firstly, it says, calculate the missing value B. Okay, so that's okay. It's an Uber Lux, right? Not a problem. And we know that we're going to use the upfront option. So what we're going to need for the upfront option, let's highlight all the things we need to put in. We need to put the base fare, the number of miles, and the per mile fare. Okay, so let's put that in. Okay, I'm just going to quickly label this correctly. 2.2.1. So B equals the base fare, right? Plus number of miles times the per mile fare. Okay, I'm literally just rewriting the formula, right? So don't get like super angsty or anything about that. Just rewrite what they've written. Then let's go look, what's the base fare here? Base fare is 20. Put the base fare in, cool. What is the number of miles? Well, they've said it's a 10 mile trip, so it's gonna be 10. Then it says the per mile fare. The per mile fare is five. Okay, so that basically, right, is what we have to type into, type into our calculator to get an answer. So it'd be 20 plus 10 times five. So it's going to be 70, 70 what? $70, okay? It's always important to put in your currency when you're talking about cost because you're referring to 70 something, right? It's 70 dollars. Okay, let me just make sure you can see that. Sorry if I if you missed that. Let's now go on to the next question. Okay, the next question, which is for a couple more marks, or one more mark, says calculate, round it off to the nearest mile, the maximum distance for which a person can use the UberX taxi if they pay the minimum upfront fare. Okay, so UberX is this one here. The minimum fare is this one here, right? And the per mile fare is 0 0.9. So we're going to say, well, the minimum fare is this amount. And we're going to divide that by the fare of each mile, right? Because that will basically tell us how many miles that we can travel, given that each mile costs us 0 0.9, and we can only actually pay up to 4.65. So let's put that into our calculator. And we get 5.166 miles. Now, it's important to read the question and see how they want the answer. It says here, round it off to the nearest mile. So if we round it off, it's closer to being five miles than it is to being six miles. Okay, so the answer is five miles. Okay, so the important thing there is that you understand what the inputs are, but it's not too difficult to actually do the maths here. Okay, so much of math lit, guys, is actually just understanding what is being asked. Because sometimes it's actually the words that are more confusing than it is necessarily the scenario. Okay. So let's move on to 2.2.3. It says, Normsa traveled a distance of 29.73 miles with 
uber black. So we know that we're sitting in this column. Okay. The post-trip fare option was used and the trip took one hour and nine minutes to complete. Okay. Normsa stated that she would have saved more than $20 if she'd used the upfront fare. Right? So she'd use the post-trip fare and she's saying, oh, I wish I'd used the upfront fare because I would have saved money. Then they say, show with calculations whether the, her statement is correct. This is a very common question in MathLit. They often give you these sort of conclusions that someone's made and you have to um, substantiate them or give reason as to why they are right or wrong. Okay, so let's basically, what we're going to do is we're going to work out how much it would have cost on the upfront basis and how much it would have cost on the post-trip basis, compare those two costs and see whether there is a difference of over 20. Okay, so let's start by again writing out the formula. So upfront is our base fare, right, plus our number of miles. So hashtag, the little hashtag, there's another way of saying number, number of miles times per mile fare, okay. So let's put that in for Uber, Uber Black, right? So our base fare is eight plus number of miles, it says over here, so it's 29.73 times per mile fare, which is 3.55. So let's put that into our calculator. Eight plus 29.73 times 3.55. And that gives us, oh, sorry, 113 and 54, excuse that little ugly dot, $54. Oh, let's write that out again. Oh, sorry if you're hearing lots of thunder outside, it is raining. So that is the answer for the upfront fare. Okay, now let's do exactly the same. So it's not the same formula, but we're going to go about the same way. The post trip, right? So the post trip fare, we know is the number of miles, number of miles, right? Times per minute, fair. Okay. Plus the number of miles, okay, times the per mile, fair. Okay. So you see, the only difference between these two formulas is the first term. So they, these both, this bracket here is in both of the formula. It's this first term that's different. There it's the base fare. There it's the number of miles times by the per minute fare. So the number of miles is 29.73. We know that. The per minute fare, right, per minute fare is 0 0.45, right, 0 0.45, right, then we're going to say plus, right, the number of miles, right? So it's again 29.73, okay? Oh, look, you see, I actually wrote this in correctly. So it's not number of miles like I put it here. It's number of minutes. You see, it's important to make sure that you read the question. So this actually isn't 29.73. It's actually number of minutes. It's one hour and nine minutes, right? Let's convert that into completely minutes. Be 69 minutes, right? Because there's 60 minutes in an hour, plus the nine, 69 minutes. So it's gonna be 69, okay? Important that you make sure that you actually are reading the question, because you see I made a mistake there and you don't wanna make a similar mistake. So we've said number of minutes times the per minute fare, number of miles times by the per mile fare. So let's put that into our calculator and see what we are looking at. Um, 29.73 times 3.55. Okay, and it is 136.59. Now we need to work out the difference. So the difference is going to be my post trip fare minus my upfront fare. So it's going to be 136.59 minus 113.54. Okay, because we want to work out the difference is what, we went to, what we're interested in. And you might be saying, Margs, why did you round off here? Because we're working with currency, right? And currency is one of those things that you can actually round off to two decimal places and you should. Okay, so the difference here that we have, the difference that we have is 
$23.05. So that is more than $20, like Norms has said. So our conclusion, and this is important, often students forget to do this. They do all the calculations and they forget to answer the question, right? The question says, state whether, her, whether she's correct. So we say, yes, Normsa is correct. Okay, so it's important to make sure you answer the question because in MathLit, what's actually really cool about MathLit is it's quite practical, right? So make sure that you always remember that you're doing a practical scenario and that you must then give insight from the maths into whether your answer is right or wrong or whether the person's insight is right or wrong. Okay, let's now go to the last question of this paper. Now, this is quite interesting because it's one of these practical questions. It says, explain the importance of a cancellation fee for the Uber service provider. So it's basically saying, why is it important? Well, right, it compensates, right? So you could be saying, oh, Miles, what does that mean? Compensates basically means they get paid, right? So it compensates for idle time, right? Because idle time or time um, traveling, to your location, right? That's sort of the main one, right? So it's basically saying when you order an Uber and then you cancel it and that and that guy is like outside, he's now spent money and time coming to fetch you. And now if you don't go out, he's now incurred that cost, okay? So that's what that cancellation is for, for, is for okay? It's also, it's to prevent people from sort of, you know, ordering an Uber and then cancelling it and then, and then wasting people's time. So you can look in the memo for some further detail there, but these are the main reasons, okay? So as you can see, that question was actually quite interesting, quite in-depth, but also quite an interesting um, way of doing maths and also seeing how practical it can be, right, in these scenarios. Okay, cool. That's us done. Moving on to question three. Cheers, guys.